Cutthroat Committee. We start fucking with his people. He start bringing people in. We start That's fucking hard. with him though. But uh, yeah, that was that was that was slim. You know. You hear it. You you, you often hear comparisons. Uh, Snoop was said, and P was saying, and definitely on that documentary that he he was he reminded him of Tupac. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, and and I, I gotta ask you about it because when we since we've been down here, Soldier Slim, man, everybody give us a Soldier Slim story of mm -hmm. they knew Soldier. Did you know Soldier Slim? I'm I'm the reason we signed Soldier. Wow, yeah. that's that. I want I want to hear about that. Well, see, How that happen? I'm I'm my ex wife who I was married to, my okay. sons, my oldest son, mother, was in their family. She was a tap. Okay. And all them with taps and her cousins and all that that I told you started the second line group, yeah. Lady Buck Jumpers and all that. Yeah. So he was coming home from prison because Slim was always getting into it, drugging, on the in and out prison shit like that. But talented, super talented, yeah. right? So he come home. When he come home, KL telling me about him, this shit and all that, you know what I mean? I'm like, cool, well, let's see what's happening with him. Then he already in the family with the cousins and shit, all of them telling me about him. Wow. And so we wound up uh, signing him. He came up and started doing this thing, beating on the table. <laughs> yeah, that's that's beat, penitentiary beat, right beat there. Beat on his chest and shit and singing and all that. So we was like, cool, we're going to put out an album on him. And then wind up signing his cousins, Hound and all them too. That was my, that's my all dudes. That's all his people. So cultural committee. We start fucking with his people. He start bringing people in. We start fucking hard. with him though. But uh yeah, that was that was that was slim, you know. You hear it. You you often hear comparisons, uh Snoop was said and P was saying it definitely on that documentary that he he was he reminded them of Tupac. He was our New Orleans Tupac. Yeah. Um, did you get that sense from? Because I, I didn't ask you, did you meet Tupac? Because you probably did. Because y'all. No. P. P. Actually was uh, on the road with Pac and shit. And okay. You didn't. You didn't meet him. But it. I didn't know that was before. I would think when he was doing that, I was uh, I was in jail at the time. Yeah. And then I had just come home. Because not too long after I come home, that's when me and P reconnected. Cause yeah. We connected before. You know, he was looking for me when I was young because, you know, I'm hustling. I'm in yeah. town, but I'm flying back and forth. But I got work. I'm coming back home, yeah. you know, doing my thing or whatever. So he like, oh, let me find this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get on. So trying to get on. I'm fucking with dudes in the neighborhood. He, my name ringing, whatever. He coming looking for me. But I got knocked off right yeah, around yeah, of the course. time when we went to get hooked up. So when I got home from jail... Then me and him reconnected again. He was coming down. He had started the record store. They had did the little thing out there, the first TRU album and mm -hmm, shit and all mm -hmm. that. And he was like, man, we try to do this and go to this next level, this, that, and other. I'm like, all right, well, what we need to do? Fuck it, I'm wow. with you. I'm yeah. fucking with you. You know, like, I ain't doing shit else. I'm out here hustling. I'm going to fuck around and get knocked off or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fuck it, let's take a shot. <laughs> And the shot y'all took, man, was crazy, yeah. man. Like I said, I, you didn't see, you didn't, like I told K.O. when I interviewed him, like, you didn't hear nothing else when y'all went that that year that everybody keep talking like she keep bringing up about yeah. those albums like I, it wasn't nothing else but even like say for me the down south hustlers uh cassette and all that to do it was a double cassette yeah it was hard bro yeah, like yeah. for me like those now, were we, times we man, one of the first people we first to do that put out a double yeah cassette. that's right yeah we on boss talk one on one yeah we gonna talk